Hi guys and welcome to this new video. This video is about the Honor Magic V2. Finally, a new video about the Honor Magic V2 and the reason is we now have Magic OS 8 and this means Android 14 for this phone. Very, very late to the party, I have to say, and I think we all waited for a long time um, for this update. And I thought, let's just go through the change log and I will also demonstrate some new features uh, the Magic V2 now received features that the Magic 6 Pro already had because it also already had Magic OS 8. Um, and this is what this video is about. And um, let's take a look at the change log and um, reading change logs uh, of Honor is sometimes a very funny endeavor. So um, in this case, it says, dear user, dear users, this update has launched brand new Magic OS 8.0. Zero Android 14 for you. The system is smoother, safer, easier to use, more power saving, and the home screen is more fun. And we all like to have a more fun home screen, right? We recommend you to update. Please stay tuned for upcoming version updates to unlock more features. Then the first point is smooth and seamless. So obviously the phone received some Smooth animations, brand new human-centered motion design is incorporated for a more natural and comfortable experience. Start-exit animation can interrupt the motion effect in apps. The process is more coherent and smoother. So obviously the phone received some new and smooth animations and I noticed them when, for example, closing all apps from the multitasking view or when opening and closing apps. The next point is smooth, heavy loading. Improve the stable and smooth performance of multi-app parallel scenarios. For example, when shopping while watching live stream videos, both comparing prices and mini window live stream slash videos are smooth. The translation is really gold here. It, it's almost like comedy, right? So obviously... Um, the phone now performs better in multitasking scenarios. And I think this has to do with, for example, better RAM allocation or something like this, but also a very funny description of, uh, of this process. Then we have the home screen. And this is uh, the first real new feature. We now have magic capsule um, for the Magic V2. So, for example, when you play a video, listen to music, or when you use the timer then um, the magic capsule is displayed in the form of a capsule. Who would have guessed it? And presents ongoing tasks, making it easy to view real-time status, perform quick operations, or quickly enter op applications. This function provides you with accurate and efficient services. Accurate and efficient services. So basically, when you are playing music and you exit the music app, then... Um, a small um, yeah, pill or capsule will appear around the um, camera cutout and from there you can either uh, click on it or long press on it to perform um, various functions, uh, view, the, view the music, pause the music, play the music. Um, the disadvantage is you cannot remove the magic capsule, for example, if you don't want it, there is no option. You can pause the music and then swipe away the capsule and then it's gone. And the capsules are also stackable. So, for example, when you play music and at the same time um, have an active timer, then you will have a stacked view of the capsules that are active. And uh, in general, um, this is also active, for example, uh, during phone calls. I really like the magic capsule because it gives you quick access um, to music controls, playback controls, timers, and um, etc. So um, I think that's a nice function. Um, and in general, I appreciate that uh, they added to the Magic V2. Then we have another feature, quick services on home screen. Press and hold the app icon and drag to display the shortcuts and you can directly access high frequency services supported by some apps. Um, this is also what I experienced first in the Magic 6 Pro and uh, this does basically what it says. So you can long press um, an app icon and then you can extend it vertically and horizontally and you will um, have some 
app shortcuts um, available in a folder-like fashion. Um, and this can be, for example, very nice uh, when you use it for the camera or for the notes app, for example, then you have the, um, the option to add uh, new notes um, with these shortcuts. Um, currently, I'm not using it, but um, it's definitely nice to have. Then we have new folder. A brand new design provides more folder sizes, making customized home screen more flexible. You can adjust the folder freely by pressing and holding it and dragging the border. Uh, so basically you can now um, have um, a horizontal or vertical one by three um, folder. And this is nice because um, where you normally would have only place for two apps, you now can place three apps in a folder so um, this is what I also very much liked on the Magic 6 Pro. And I'm happy that we now also have it in the Magic V2. Then some things that were not mentioned in the change log, you are now able to configure the swipe down gesture. Normally when you swipe down on the home screen, you will get uh, to honor search and you can now configure it also um, to have the control center or the notification center by dragging or swiping down on the left on the right side of the screen. You are also, and I'm not completely sure if this is new in Magic OS 8, you are now also able to configure the icon size by going to settings, home screen and style and home screen settings. There you have the option to change the default icon size, which is nice. Then we have new gestures for Split screen and multi window. Basically, you can swipe up from the bottom when you have an app open, swipe it to the left side, you will go into split screen mode, and then you can open another app to have it in split screen. Swipe it to the right, you are in multi window mode. So the window um, that or the app that is open will launch into multi window. And this is very nice because it's it provides really a fast way to multitask. Um, and it's much faster than before. And then we have also option um, that is force device orientation. I was asked in one of my videos if the Magic V2 supports uh, force device orientation. You can now configure it for some apps in settings, foldable phones, um, and can, um, for example, force an app into landscape orientation rather than uh, portrait orientation. Then the next point is called smart and efficient and it's about magic portal magic portal is now supported to touch and hold text or images and drag them left or right to trigger magic portal in some apps to share them to other apps or services this can save time and make things easier you can try it out by going to settings assistant magic portal basically when you have a photo you can press and hold it and swipe it to the right or left side of the screen then you will have this blue shimmer and then magic portal will be um, opened and will suggest some apps where you can share either text or an image for example uh, i can directly share to whatsapp or instagram or other apps that are um, uh, supported and this can be also used with text you can um, press and hold and mark text and pull it to the left or right side of the screen and then for example directly insert it into the email app of choice then the next point is convenient and easy to use and i have no idea what it is personal assistant the schedule tool has been upgraded to personal assistant to include all the schedules this function can automatically analyze scattered schedules and record them all day affairs will clearly display in my events today providing you with efficient personal affairs management yeah, I have absolutely no idea. I think it's related to the calendar where we have some, is it AI or what is it? I don't know. Just leave me a comment if you know what this person assistant scheduling tool does. Uh, I have no idea. Then we have also um, a video player on the device. I don't know who needs a video player, but it is there. Then we have something related to media creation and its custom camera layout. This update supports custom layout for camera mode. You can tap and hold icons to move frequently used modes to the shallow functional area for easier operation. The translation, a shallow functional area. Um, basically, when you have the camera app often you open you have the shortcuts on the bottom and you now can go 
to more. And yet you can, and, and it's also already mentioned, you can touch and hold an icon to rearrange them um, and move them to the shallow functional area. Yeah, that's great. Then we have long lasting battery life, ultra power saving. Ultra power saving mode is added to largely improve battery life. You can experience it by going to settings, battery, ultra power saving mode. Let's see. Unlock settings, battery. And there it is. Ultra power battery saving mode, which will give me 46 hours and 44 minutes of remaining battery life. And it will turn on dark mode, turn off most of the battery draining apps and features and restrict phone performance. Before this, we all, uh, all only had performance mode and power saving mode. And then the last point in the change log is security guard. Blur private info. Select the image to be blurred and tap share blur private info. Then the profile picture, nickname, phone number and other sensitive data in the image are automatically blurred to protect your privacy. So basically, when you want to share an image, you can go to share, show all, and then you have the blur private info option. Then the image will be scanned and the phone will detect if there is any sensitive information and it will blur the information out. And that's basically it. These were all the changes mentioned in the very funnily translated change log and the changes I was able to uh, notice that were not in the change log. If you have any questions and if you know any additional changes that were introduced with Magic OS 8 on the Magic V2, just leave me a comment and I would be more than happy to welcome you in one of my next videos. Until then, take care and bye.